Hi, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, Maylene. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos Salivaldo. Hi, Beth. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Hoy no va de camino, Beth. <laughs> Hoy no, teacher. Gracias a Dios ya en casa. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Okay. Hi, Carolina. Hi, Luis. Stephanie, Gabriel. Hi, Gabriel. Hi, teacher. Carlos, Carla Lisset, very no, nice. Sea, de la empresa. Ivania and Kenya. Okay, Kenya, no se preocupe. Regálenme un segundito, porfa. Just one second. Thank you so much. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so we're going to continue with what we stopped talking about yesterday. Yesterday, we were talking uh, casi que al final about the use of can and could. All right. So that's what we're going to keep on talking about tonight. Gabriel, ¿cómo están las lluvias por ahí? Pues ahorita... Solo se oye que viene la tormenta, pero, pero ahorita todavía estamos bien. Ok. Aquí ya pasó la tormenta. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. Aquí todavía no. Ah, ok. All right. Very nice. Ok. Pero todo bien, ¿verdad, Gabriel? Todo bien. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. All right, guys. So yesterday we were talking about can and could. Y decíamos que can and could son modal verbs that we can use. All right. Recuerde que los modal verbs tienen varios usos, all right? Va a depender del contexto el uso que le vamos a dar al modal verb, okay? En este caso, can and could, we're using it to ask, to request information, okay? Acuérdese que can, you can express it to, um, for abilities. Cuando usted dice, ah, sí, yo puedo nadar, I can swim. All right, o yo le pregunto, Caro, can you swim? Y Caro me dice sí, o me dice no. All right, can you, Luis, can you speak French? Yes or no, all right, entonces eso sería para habilidad. Pero right now, como lo estábamos viendo en el libro ayer, can and could, lo usamos también para preguntar o pedir información. Y, a, y a, al usarlo, de hecho Nina ayer nos decía, creo que fue Nina o fue Caro, no recuerdo ya, ya se me olvidó, ya le da. Eh, que nos decía, se hace como más polite. ¿Verdad? No es, dif es, dif es dif fue, fue Caro, ¿verdad? <risa> Diferente es decir... Give me information, a que yo le diga, could you give me information? Es lo mismo, solo que una un poco más pesado, ¿verdad? Mucho más directo, así de give me information, casi como que demandando información. All right, entonces al poner, can you give me or could you give me information? Suaviza, and it's very nice, it's very polite, all right, and it's very proper. Y lo usamos mucho, obviamente, en contexto de eh, trabajo. ¿Verdad? Bueno, usted va a llegar donde su jefe o usted llega donde se, sus colaboradores y le dice, could you give me some information about the project or can you tell me about the report? All right, entonces ya se suaviza la situación and it's better, okay? So that's what we're talking about here. Yesterday we stopped on this page. Here we were talking about can and could. Here we have some information, solo para recordar. Using can, I can give you my personal information. She can't pay for the washer right now. Can I have your credit card number? Can you tell me how many items you need? All right, so you're asking for some information using can. And then of course we have could. You could try with another credit card, all right? If they couldn't give you my billing address, could you spell your last name again? Or could you spell your last name? Could we check the details of my order? All right, so can and could makes everything more polite, okay? Did you guys finish this exercise, exercise five? Did you finish it yesterday? Yes? Yep. Caro, did you? Yes? All right, Luis, Elivaldo. Yes, Yvette. teacher. Excellent, great, thank you. What about the rest of you guys? that were in class yesterday, were you able to finish? 
Wilfredo, Maylin, Xiomara, did you finish exercise five? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. okay. Como ahorita no están obviamente trabajando eh, con las personas que trabajaron ayer. All right, so vamos a hacer eh, de forma así a random. All right, y Caro va a empezar. A ver, Caro. Escoja, mire cuánta belleza tiene aquí enfrente suya. All right. Escoja uno o una y hágale la pregunta con can you or could you. Y los demás atentos, porque si dijo Stephanie, entonces Stephanie contesta. All right. Yes. Ok. Xiomara. ¿Mm? Yes. yes. Ok, Xiomara. Could you invite me to have breakfast tomorrow? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go to Pizza Hut. Oh my goodness, can I go? <laughs> all right. Come on. Yeah, all right. Very good. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Xiomara, can you ask someone else with can or could? Um, Ivania. Hmm? Ivania. Yes. Yep. Um, could you give me an advice about at school for my coaching? Yes, I could. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, Ivania, can you ask someone else? Uh, Kenia. Creo que Kenia ahorita no puede contestar. Um, bueno, este. Tenemos Wilfredo, Carlos. El... Luis. Stephanie, Luis. Luis. Ah, okay, Luis, thank you. Uh -huh. uh, can you write your report? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. All right, very good. Luis, one more question. Pero usando, ahorita quiero un could. Could you? Okay, and I will, Fred. Could you at, attend the meeting? Could you attend the meeting? Ah. Wilfredo, could you attend the meeting? Sorry, teacher, no, no lo entendí. Ah, ok, no, no se preocupe. A ver, ¿podría asistir o pod podría ir? A una reunión. Could you go, could you attend a meeting? ¿Qué le diría usted a Luis si le pregunta? ¿Podría ir a una reunión? ¿Podría asistir usted a una reunión? ¿Qué le diría, Wilfredo? Yes or no? ¿Tiene su micrófono apagado, Will? Yes, yes, I can. Thank you. Yes, very nice. Okay, a ver. Um, Yvette, um, ask Maylene, Yvette, please. Okay. Um, uh, veamos a quién vamos a preguntarle. A uh, Carito. Ah, no está. A uh, Gabriel. Okay. Okay, <coughs> veamos, can you tell me how many items you need? Mm, okay. Quiero entender, repitan, quiero ver si entiendo. Can you Por... tell me how many items you need? Yeah, can you tell me how many items you need? Um, no entiendo la última palabra. Eh, need. Ajá. Need. Need, ajá. Need de necesitar. Uh -huh. um, yes. Uh -huh. 
Yes, I can. Okay. So, yes, I can. Eh, uh, Edivaldo. Can you explain me this? Can you explain? Explain, explain me video. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí. Explain. Yes, I can. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So remember that we can use can or could when we request. All right. When we request something, you can use can or you can use could. Ayer igual me parece que también fue caro que me preguntaba algo si, si es más formal o no. ¿Verdad que se fue caro? Yes, el uso de can or could. All right. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Quizás es un poco más formal el could. All right. El can es un poquito más informal. No cae en lo grosero para nada. All right. Pero usted tiene eso, su compañero o compañera y se lleva muy bien. O sea, dice, can you give me that? Or can you tell me about tomorrow's meeting? All right, pero si es alguien que no tenemos tanta confianza o es como más seria la relación, entonces usted le puede decir perfectamente, could you? All right, so that's better and it's a little bit more polite. All right, pero both of them are okay to use. Okay, igual si su respuesta va a ser no, eh, podemos decir, could you attend the meeting? I'm sorry, but I'm, I can't. Siempre tratamos de cubrir ese, ese no. Con un apology, all right, y luego como una razón por qué no, ¿verdad? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm presenting on the meeting, all right, so you have like something else to do, but you always say, I'm sorry, I can't, I wish I could, but, ¿verdad? Entonces hay otras formas de, de decir no, ¿ok? Usted no puede llegar, could you go to a meeting? No. <coughs> Oops. Ok, no le vuelvo a preguntar nunca más a Wilfredo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. O no le vuelvo a preguntar nunca más a Luis, así como, no, uh, ok, sorry, ok, so, es como, I'm sorry, Jessica, but I can't right now, or es, es eso, ¿verdad? Me gustaría ir o quisiera poder, pero no puedo, <laughs> all right, I wish I could, but I have another meeting, but I have a, I have a, a lot of work to do, usted dice la razón que usted tenga para no poder dar esa información o no poder ir en todo caso que les, lo que se le estuvieran preguntando. All right. Okay. I'm going to take the first attendance right now y luego seguimos con lo de el manual. Give me one second. All right, here we have Carlos Eduardo Artiga de Rios. Here I am, teacher. Carlos. Uy, Dios mío, ¿qué hice? Dice algo. Hola. No sé qué es. Oh, no. Niño, ya le apreté algo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, sorry. All right, let's see. Um, Carlos Eduardo Abrego Mármol. Present teacher. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Stephanie Lizeth Molina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Stephanie Michelle Zúñiga Hueso. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ivania Yamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lizeth Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Present teacher. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Carlos Teo Ramírez Pérez. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Eh, Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisnero Rosales. Present. 
Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes, Carlos Josué Chávez, Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present. Ah, Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present. Excellent, very nice. Ok, esperemos que los demás nos logren uh, estar con nosotros en a little while. Ah, William is here. Sorry, guys, William is here. Ok. All right, so let's now share the screen. I'm going to share my screen with you and let's go to this. We are working on, we finished working on page 22. Uh, yesterday you did that. So right now I want us to work on page 23, unit two. I will be able to, a ver, um, Maylin, can you please read this? I will be able to give. Yes, teacher. Uh... I will be able to get given us for op opinion about consumer satisfaction of abroad. Yes, very good. Given us for opinion about customer satisfaction of a product. Very good. Number one, um, Carlita, Carla Lisa, can you read number one? Let's just start. Okay. How was the last experience? of uh, customers. consumers purchase, purchase. Uh -huh. satisfaction satisfying satisfy yes. of the satisfying that is satisfying yes. uh -huh. why why muy bien carla very good how was the last experience of a customer's purchase Satisfying or dissatisfying and why? All right, voy a dejar de compartir aquí. Pensemos, quiero que todos pensemos en el último producto o servicio que ustedes acaban de adquirir o comprar. Ok, todos pensando, ¿ya lo tienen? Si no ha comprado nada de mis fichas hace un mes, no importa, hace un mes. All right, o ayer, perfecto, hoy en la mañana, excelente, hace dos horas antes de la clase fui corriendo así van a comprar algo. <laughs> All right, whatever, let's see. Ready? Ya? Yeah? Yes? All right, veamos, Xiomara. No me diga qué compró. Ya sea servicio o producto, no importa, Xiomara. Satisfied? Were you unsatisfied? And why, Xiomara? The product was satis satisfying. Okay, why? Because, because it was delicious. Oh my goodness, it was food. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, all right, it was delicious. Very nice. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Um, Elivaldo, the product was, or the service, was it satisfying or were you unsatisfied? Satisfied. Yeah, why? Why, Elivaldo? Sí, why? Ajá, porque fue satisfactoria la experiencia. Ah, fue delicia. Ah, very good. Ay, no piensen solo en comida, no sean tan malos. <laughs> what, thank you. What about um, Luis? Ajá, Luis. Product, satisfying or unsatisfying? Um, satisfied. Yeah, why? For very good quality. Oh, nice, very good quality, excellent. Let's see, Caro, so the last product or service, satisfying or unsatisfying? Unsatisfying. Unsatisfied. Yes. Oh, no, why? Because I saw in internet some pants for my daughter. Mm -hmm. They, I see you pretty, pretty. Uh, pretty. <laughs> good, okay. pretty. But when I received it, they, uh, they wasn't a pants. They wasn't like, um, I don't know, how do you say, medias veladas? Like, like transparentes? Ah, uh, like stockings. I guess, I don't know. Okay. So it wasn't like, uh, it wasn't licras, it wasn't like panty media. Yeah, uh -huh. like, yeah, all right. Something like that. So all the calzones se le ven. <laughs> all 
All right, Caro, all right. So besides that, I I ordered a size a 10, 12, uh -huh. and when the pants were like this size, I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh my goodness, Caro, all right. Now, can you return it? No. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Caro. <laughs> All right. Yeah, now now I have to buy a blusas largas. Yeah, long, long shirts. Yes, so long yes. shirts. Oh my goodness. And give the small pants. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I'm satisfied. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, buy for internet. Yeah, sometimes it's not some sometimes it's not a good idea because you see one thing and you receive another thing yeah i know yeah it can be very tricky sometimes all right okay what about mailing the last product or the last service satisfied or unsatisfied i am satisfied with the product but i'm i'm not satisfied with the how do you say um El personal de, o de atención al cliente que, que me lo vendió. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh. like the, the customer service. The customer service, unsatisfied, but the product is very good. Oh, and why are you unsatisfied with the customer service? Because the product is an offer, in, in the offer. Okay. And when I... I go to the store. Mm -hmm. No, ¿cómo se? Yo llegué a la tienda. Yeah, when you go to the store, yes. Okay. Uh, the customer tell me the product is uh, how do you say liquidación on, on sale? On sale, uh -huh. okay. And the product is in water, water, water house. Okay. Ah. No, 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 but I understand. But the product was okay. Yes, the product. Mm, I don't buy the product on sale, but because I, I, como le mostré la imagen. Ah, uh, you show the image. Show the image and the customer and say. Que, the customer check in the in the um, how do you say in the stock uh -huh. and and she say me que, que si había uno. Uh, they, there was one okay all right maybe very good okay Okay, the last one. What about Yvette? A product or a service satisfied or unsatisfied, Yvette? Um, satisfied? Mm -hmm. Why? Um, because, um, um no, wear a green Mo, como muy verdes o sea, co compré compré un producto un plátano por decirle algo sí y están están muy verdes okay they were very ripe ripe is like okay. very like no maduro <laughs> <laughs> sí, sí. okay yes all right very good perfect very good okay so when we buy eh, in a store or online uh, it can be risky, right? Because even if you go to the store, you buy it, and maybe the quality is not good. All right. So you need to be careful with what you buy, especially because it's money. All right. So you want a good quality of the product or service that you are purchasing or buying or getting. Okay. Now let's go back here to the um to the book. All right, always on page 23. Let's see this. It says, read a survey. Ese es un survey. ¿Qué sería un qué? What is a survey in Spanish? Uh, 
¿Alguien sabe? ¿Encuesta de satisfacción? Sí, oh yes, una encuesta. Survey es una encuesta, all right? Read a survey about a customer's experience with a product, ¿ok? A ver, number one. ¿Quién me lee number one? Eh, tanto la... The question and the answers. All of them. Just to practice your reading. Uh -huh. Solo un voluntario, no todos al mismo tiempo. Thank you. Melina. How satisfied are you with the, this product? Uh -huh. Satisfied. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So you have how satisfied are you with this product? Very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied. And very dissatisfied. All right. Number two, Caro. Okay. Rate your opinion about the product's quality. High quality, average, low quality, very low quality. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you. A ver, ¿quién me lee number three? Someone else. Thank you, sir. Excellent. Uh, number three, the value of the, this product is excellent, good, poor, very poor. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, volunteers. Hi, teacher. Excellent. Will you continue using this product? Yes, no. Ah, oh, very good. Yes or no. Okay. So here you have a survey, an example of a survey about a product. In this case, can be a product. Num question number one is how satisfied are, we, are you with the product? Number two, rate your opinion about the product's quality. Do we understand the word rate? Cuando dice rate, what does that mean? Uh-huh. What is rate? Anybody? Como puntuación. Sí, muy bien. All right. Cuando usted rate algo, se le da una puntuación a algo. All right. En este caso, un producto. Rate your opinion about the product's quality. High quality, average, low quality, very low quality. All right. Number three, the value of this product. Creo que se lo entendemos bien. And number four, will you continue using this product? Okay. Now, in general here, it says, how was the customer, number three, how was the customer's experience? Is the product a good one or a bad one? Think about possible problems the customers had with the product. Pero antes que trabajemos en esto, van a, eh, lo van a trabajar en grupo. Esto es lo primero que van a hacer. All right. Obviamente, number one, two, and three son basados en los que ya está contestado acá. All right. Pero después de eso, van a hacer lo siguiente. Van a volver a poner estas preguntas, number one, two, three, four. Y quiero que pongan cuatro más de su propia. Ustedes van a crear cuatro preguntas más y le van a dar así como options. Very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, very satisfied, all right? O puede ser eh, cualquier otro tipo de valoración que usted le quiera dar. Four more, en total vamos a tener ocho. Esas cuatro ya están. Van a agregar cuatro más sobre un producto que ustedes escojan dentro del grupo. Por ejemplo, si usted está trabajando con Caro, podrían retomar el ejemplo que ella decía de, los, de las licras, digamos, que ella le compró a la niña. All right, entonces, obviamente, Caro, lo más probable es que diga very dissatisfied en todo. <laughs> All right, y le va a agregar cuatro más, ¿ok? Si usted está trabajando con Luis y de repente le digo, Luis, eh, un producto que usted ha comprado que esté satisfied o unsatisfied, y Luis le puede decir, ah, sí, mi, um, un cuaderno. Y yo le puedo decir, sí, yo mis lentes, ¿ok? Entonces, decidamos, ¿de cuál vamos a hablar? ¿Del cuaderno de Luis o de mis lentes? All right, entonces, lo vamos a ir marcando. Como si decidimos mis lentes, pues obviamente son míos y yo le digo cómo me siento, all right? Pero las otras cuatro preguntas del survey, eh, pues las van a hacer ustedes y siempre, eh, como escogemos los lentes, yo pues le voy a decir, ah, sí, Luis, tal cosa o tal otra y tal otra, all right? So, four more questions aparte de estas cuatro que ya están. Y obviamente las tienen que contestar las ocho de verdad sobre el producto que ustedes escogieron. Trate de hacerlo real. All right, así vuelvo y repito en el caso de Caro. 
¿verdad? Eh, que pues sí, ella compró algo y no salió nada que ver con lo que ella había visto en internet. ¿Ok? Yes, so this exercise first, exercise three first, y luego el ejercicio eh, este, agregar, contestar estas más, hacer cuatro más, cuatro preguntas más con sus respectivas valoraciones y llenarlo, ¿de acuerdo? Traten de ponerlo en la computadora para poder compartir y yo poder ver, ¿ok? Voy a permitirles compartir pantalla desde ya antes que se me olvide. All right. Los que no pueden participar todavía porque están en el trabajo o están en camino, no se preocupen, quédense acá y así yo pues mando a las personas a trabajar con los demás que sí están, ¿ok? A ver, en 15 más o menos los regreso, ¿ok? Tengan el, el, el tiempo más o menos para que logren salir. Y me escriben, si de repente son las y 45 y todavía les falta, me escriben en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Porque sí necesito que terminemos eso. Cuatro más, acuérdense. Vamos a ver. Los que nos pueden participar se quedan por aquí. Teacher. Hola, hola. Hola, hola, perdone, Carlita. Teacher, una pregunta. Eh, de las cuatro preguntas que salen ahí, que ya están contestadas, de esas cuatro preguntas tenemos que hacer unas nuevas Aparte de preguntas. Esas, esas, eh, esas cuatro las van a retomar y las van a contestar ya de acuerdo a cómo se siente con el producto suyo. ¿Verdad? Ah, okay. Y a eso, perdón, aparte de esas cuatro, van a ser otras cuatro más. Eso sí no está. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. okay. Está bien. Gracias. Bueno, Carlita. Hola Edwin. Good morning, teacher. Hi Edwin, how are you? Edwin, lo voy a unir ahorita a un grupo. Están trabajando en la página 23. Página 23, ejercicio 2. Ejercicio 2 y 3. ¿Qué lo mandé a Edwin? Okay, thank you.
Good evening, teacher, everybody. Hi, Chavez, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Chavez, los demás compañeros están en grupo Le, ahorita. Los voy a asignar a uno con Caro para que sepa qué hacer, ¿de acuerdo? Está bien, gracias. Thank you. <coughs> A las seis, Chávez. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Kenya. Ya, ya. Ya, en casa. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Vaya, Kenia. La voy a mandar a un grupo para oh. que les ayude oh, ahí. Oh. ahí okay? ok. La voy a mandar a la sala 2, Kenia. Ok, teacher.
Hi, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. Um, ya casi van a terminar una actividad que están haciendo en grupo. No sé si entra uno, aunque sea un par de minutitos, y ve lo que están haciendo o prefiere quedarse por acá. Como gusta, quizás, como dice que van a salir, bueno, espero mejor. Sí, yo en dos, dos minutitos más o menos lo saco. Ok, bueno. bueno gracias.
All right, did you guys finish? I think so, teacher. Okay, great, thank you. All right, what about Elivaldo? Did you finish, Elivaldo? Or were you with Caro? Yeah, right? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah, the three of you were together. All right, yeah, okay, that's good. All right, so we're gonna wait for everybody else to come back and everybody else is coming back now. All right, so let's see. Um, the idea was to finish exercise three first, and then we were supposed to do the other exercise. So number one, exercise three, they say, how was the customer's experience? How was the customer's experience according to what you see? Was it a good experience? It was a bad experience. It was a bad experience? Yeah, everything is negative, right? It's satisfied, very low quality, poor and no, wow. Okay, what about number two? Is the product a good one or a bad one? What do you guys think? Was it a good product that this person bought or it wasn't a good product? A bad product. A bad product, okay, all right, very good. Let's see, the question number three, think about possible problems that customers had with the product. What do you think can be some um, possible problems that maybe the customer found with this product? Anybody? We answered that the product quality is low. Okay. Yeah. All right. And maybe it wasn't functioning right. Right? That could also be a possibility. All right. Very good. Okay. And then we were supposed to work on our own survey. All right. And we were supposed to add more things to it. Okay. So let's see. Carla Lisette, Kenya, and Oscar. All right, can you, do, can you present or you're just gonna read your survey? Van a presentar o solo lo van a leer? Mm. Solamente leído, teacher. Okay, that's fine, okay. No. En la primera sería, how statistics are you with this product? Uh -huh. Elegimos, elegimos statistics. Ok, you're satisfied. Pero, pero elegimos el producto de shoes. Ah, eso me sirve de shoes. Okay. All right, uh -huh. so you're talking about the shoes, ok. Yes. Ok, so you're sa satisfied. Question number two. Write your opinion about the product's quality. Is you high quality? Okay, nice. The value of this product is is how? This is, this is good. Okay. Will you continue using this product? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Now the other question. What was the other question? Yes. The okay. I mean, the shoes are comfortable. Comfortable. Yes. 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 Comfortable. Yes. Okay. Comfortable. Yes. They're comfortable. Okay. Next question. Okay. What color do you prefer? Oh, prefer? what color do you prefer? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, that, that coffee color. Okay. ¿Y cuáles eran las opciones que pusieron? Red, black. Red, black, yeah. brown. Dark coffee. Okay, dark brown. Okay, nice. Okay, and a question, the last question? Or the other question? What yeah. round are the shoes? What, 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 Carla? What brown? Brand, uh, marca. Aha, uh -huh, marca. Brand, yes. yes. What, which brown. brand or what brand? Aha. Uh -huh. I uh -huh. see, okay. round this is um, Hoish Poppies. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Any, another question or that's it? 
Solo es... Solo determinamos de la otra. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Thank you. All right. Let's work on the other one. Let's see. Um, Luis, Wilfredo, and Edwin, what about your survey? First, tell me your product and then the, the survey, okay? Teacher, creo que no, no, todavía no estamos listos. Ah, ¿qué le pasó? Lo que pasa es que estamos terminando de formular las, las, las oraciones. Las questions. Yes. Ok. Si nos da un poquito de tiempo. Por... Claro. Thank you. All right, that's ok, that's ok. A ver, en lo que seguimos aquí con los demás entonces. Um, Yvette and Gabriel. Hola, teacher. Hello. Eh, nosotros hemos hecho siete preguntas de la encuesta. No sé si eh, le decimos esas. Sí, claro, claro, claro que sí, Beth. Sí, no hay problema. Ok. Eh, Gabriel. Hello. <risa> Gabrielito. Hello. Hola, hola, hola. Hello. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Oh, ok, este, voy a compartir la, okay. la pantalla entonces para la encuesta. Yes. Vale. Ahorita veamos. Y le comparto lo que no es. Share. <risa> <risa> sí, la, la B, teacher. Sí, claro, sí, sí. Ok, ok. Um, Mm, 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 nuestro caso es servicio de cable. Yeah, service of cable, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, Gabriel, si gusta. Eh, sí, ajá, uh -huh. la pregunta es como how satisfied are you with service in the internet is uh, dissatisfied. Uh oh, ok. <laughs> eh, eh, number, number two. Uh, low quality. Okay. Number three, poor. Uh huh. E, e, is one, e, number four is no. <laughs> uh, you won't continue using the. No, 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 no. E, la, 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 la segunda, la, 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 la quinta. Yes. La, quinta, la cuarta pregunta era como. From one to five, what grade would you give, give it? O sea, así como que, eh, ¿qué número le, sí. le daría? Sí. ¿Cómo la calificaría? Claro. Eh, hey, I would give it a two. Ok. Two. Y no sé si ella va a decir la otra. Yes, ok. Ok, ok, ok. Es sí que... Would you recommend this service to a friend? Uh, no. No. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Um, and seven, uh -huh. what channel would you like to be free? Um, family channels, uh, adult channels, or comedy channels? Um, family channels. Family channels. Oh, me has Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very nice, good, good. That's okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, very good. Okay, next group. Um, we have Ivania Anciomara. Okay. Ivania. Uh, Okay, empieza tú. Bueno, cada una. The product is in. First, the product is the high quality. What is the product? Excuse me. In. Yeah. The product is in. Teacher. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yes. <coughs> Bueno, te lo voy a repetir, Ivania. The okay. product is the high quality. Okay. 
Uh, uh, yes, the product is in. But the price of this product is excellent. excellent. Number three, the you recommend this you recommend this product to other companies? Yes, my be. You satisfy with the warranty? Yes. Um, only that. that. Okay. All right, very good. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. All right, then we have Carlos, Elivaldo, Caro, and Chavez, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, in the first time, we don't uh, talk about any problem in a specific. In a specific, we just trying to complete the survey. The the survey before. So um, I'm going to say that it's a, a computer okay. because I have a good experience with my computer. Uh, what do you think about the product? We say that it's good. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you want to read, guys. Number two. Okay, number two. How was the quality of the customer service? Have you received it? Excellent, good. Poor, very poor. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, Chavez? Chavez, Chavez. I don't think Chavez is in right now. Okay, so I'm going to read the number three. What do you think about delivery time? I We say that is good. Okay. And Elivaldo, do, do you want to read the last one? Number four was the product career one the time, yes. Okay, all right. That's, that's all. All right, solo en la ultima, Caro, is did the, did the product, no, was the product, did the product arrive on time? I did. I know that we have to use an auxiliary, but I yes. didn't. Yes. But you weren't sure which one. Okay. Yes. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Great. Thank you, guys. That was nice. All right. Let's see. Tenemos un par de grupos más todavía. Um, Karen. Ah, no. Karen Rosalina, no. Carlos Abregón, no. Stephanie, no. So we finished. Alguien me no, Teacher. Teacher. Hi, Carlos. <laughs> Um, con mailing también. Ah, sí, Estamos. verdad, es cierto, la sala 9, perdone, perdone, yes, go ahead. Le, pues, ok. No, 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 the work. Because it didn't work, okay? I don't okay. know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in four, four is double. double. In four, yeah, in, in, it was oh. very poor. Double O, in la primera, um, Carlos. Poor, ahí, doble O. Okay. Yeah, very good, okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, mailing number two. Okay, is the product a good one or a bad one? The product is a bad one. Okay, all right, and the last one? Okay, number three, yes, because the product is very low quality. Okay, excellent, very good. And then you have the questions of your own survey. Yes, uh, are you satisfied with the price of the product? Okay. Uh, yes or no? Um, okay. 
That's okay. Number two. Okay. <laughs> okay. Will you recommend the product? Yes or no? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. No. Ah. Great your, your experience experience with our consumer consumer service. Mm -hmm. High quality. Um, Average. Average, low uh -huh. quality, very low quality. No, no. This, this, como, how do you say respuesta? Answers? Answer? Uh -huh. Answers. Yeah. Incorrect. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Number four. Okay. okay. How often <laughs> do you the products or service? Mm -hmm. um, every day. Um, y el ver, perdón, ahí en la cuatro, el verbo cuál sería? How often do you what? Usa, eh, do you, arregla, use? No sé, use, okay. How often do use. you use the product or service? Once a week or every day, okay. ¿Y cuál era el servicio? Eh, bueno, hola. The product, the product is a cabinet. Oh, okay, okay, get it, yeah, okay, nice. Ah, okay. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher, acá solo el, el use, do you use, okay? Sí, how often do you use the product or service? No, okay. Sí. Yeah, very good. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, excellent. Very nice. All right, very good, guys. So, remember, la idea de hacer esto, obviamente, nosotros para que usted practique, all right, con su compañero o compañera, pero también cuando yo estoy dando o estamos acá escuchando todos los otros grupos, eh, es para que todos estemos como pendiente y podamos aprender de todos un poquito, ¿verdad? Entonces, es, ese es también uno de los objetivos de esto. No solo es así como, ah, le están revisando ahorita caro, me puedo levantar, ¿verdad? No, la idea es estar ahí, es como, ah, si es cierto y por qué, si tienen alguna pregunta, please ask me, ¿verdad? No solo se queden con la duda y por qué habrá sido did y no was, ah, ya lo vamos a ver. De hecho, en la tercera unidad empezamos a ver el pasado, ¿verdad? Y ahí vamos a empezar a ver la diferencia entre el did y el was. Si en caso eh, no la sabemos. Y si sí, nos va a, saber, nos va a ayudar perdón, para recordarlo. Very good. Nina, qué alegre verla, ya la veo. <laughs> Very nice. Welcome, Nina. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. Nice. Thank you, guys. Likewise. Very good. All right. So here, let's keep on working with this. Usually when we buy a product or a service, nos enfrentamos o nos vemos eh, llenando un survey, all right? Acuérdense la pronunciación is survey. All right, this is a survey, all right? So this is the one that we have to do. Now, here we are going to start talking about how to use may and might. Arriba estamos hablando de can and could. Now, we're not talking about can or could anymore. We're talking about may or might, okay? Igual que can or could, tenemos estos modal verbs, all right? De la misma manera, ellos no cambian para ninguna persona, para nadie cambian, all right? So, let's work here. Para darle la bienvenida a Nina, léame toda la información de may, Nina. <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh, I may ask for a refund. Mm -hmm. You may buy at a different store. Yeah. They may not provide a good service. It may not reach your expectation. Excellent. It may not reach your expectations. Very good. Thank you. All right. A ver, welcome. what about might? Carlos Eduardo, can you please read might? Okay. She might... Uh, want a reform on those units excellent the the might they might complain about the service we might ask to talk with the supervisor he might might not but buy here again here again okay all right, very good. So, may and might. All right, so here we have, I may ask for a refund. You may buy a different, a different store. They may not provide a good service. It may not reach your expectations, all right? Now, she might want a refund on those units. 
they might complain about the service. We might ask to talk with the supervisor and he might not buy here again, all right? Ahora, viéndolo así nada más, may and might, ¿cuál me indica más posibilidad de que algo suceda que el otro? May or might? ¿Cuál me indica más posibilidad de que suceda algo? May or might? Sería may, teacher. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Cómo yes. que se llama Luis Abrego? Yes. Excellent, very good. All yes. right, ¿y los demás? May or might? ¿Qué dicen? May. May, may es como puedo, vea, también, vea. Sí, sí, sí. No, pues may. All right, okay, another one. Sí, porque may, para mí may, porque el otro es como que está en duda. Ah, very good, Kenya, very nice. Okay, someone else? Mm -hmm. Yvette, Edwin, Xiomara, Wilfredo, Elibaldo, any idea between may and might? Um, para mí es may, sería como, como de duda, de que lo duda, que puede pasar o no puede pasar. Y entonces ese es, a eso se le, de, ¿cómo le digo? A ese, ¿usted piensa que puede algo suceder más? usando el might o al revés? No, al revés. Sería might es algo que pueda pasar. Que puede pasar, pero no es tan seguro de que pase. Ok, all right, I get it. Ok, very good. Ok, what about the rest okay. of you guys? Ajá. Uh -huh. Dicho, yo pienso que es lo contrario. May es como una posibilidad grande. Y might es como una posibilidad pequeña si lo, si lo queremos ver así, ¿verdad? No okay. sé mi forma de, de, de verlo. All right, okay. Anybody else? Mm, teacher, yo pienso de que como que might eh, se refiere a algo así como si fuera, pienso yo, como, como tipo pasado de might. Ah. Como que algo así se ve nada. Ok, all right, interesting. Mm. Ok. Could be. All right, les voy a enseñar esta imagen acá. Y andamos obviamente super bien of what you guys are telling me. All right, I just want to share this with you. Give me one second here. Okay. Well, it's taking forever. All right, veamos esta imagen that I'm gonna share with you right now. Here we have this. All right, here it says, guys, that the difference between may versus might. All right now, de la misma forma que el can y el could, acuérdese que va a depender de eh, el uso y el contexto, lo que quiere decir o cómo lo puede usar el may o el might. All right, now, may and might, we can say that you have two uses for possibility and for asking for, when asking for permission, okay? Now, por lo general, cuando usted pide permiso, va a usar el may, all right? Usted se, le va, se me dice, me escribe en el chat y me dice, teacher, may I leave the class now? All right, me está como pidiendo permiso para retirarse, ¿ok? O le suena el teléfono y usted dice, estuviéramos presencial, le suena el teléfono y usted me dice, may I answer the phone? May I go to the bathroom? Ese may siempre lo vamos a usar to ask for permission, más que might. De hecho, might casi que nunca, all right, for like when asking for permission. When we talk about possibility, tenemos el may y el might, y dice así, May used to express what is possible, factual, or could be factual. You, you may go home now, John. Entonces, yes, los que me dijeron, may is for a higher possibility of something happening. You guys are correct. Might used to express what is 
uh, counterfactual, like maybe, hypothetical, or remotely possible. I might be a few minutes late. All right. Entonces, pueda que suceda como pueda que no, pero la posibilidad es menor. All right. May, la posibilidad es mayor que algo suceda. Que esa posibilidad sea más grande. Ok. A ver, voy a dejar de compartir aquí un segundo. I can say, for example, um, I may, um, I may celebrate my birthday tomorrow. The possibility is very high. Pero cuando me toca trabajar, hmm, I might. <laughs> all right. So it's the possibility is less. All right. So you say, yeah, si usted tiene acá, um, hay una posibilidad, posibilidad grande de que usted la promueva o lo promuevan en el trabajo. Usted dice, I may get a raise. All right. I may get a promotion. I might. All right, la posibilidad es menos, es menor, okay? Entonces, may is a higher possibility and might is a little bit less than may. ¿Me entienden con eso? ¿Me van siguiendo con eso? Yes, no, so, so. Just teacher. Excellent. All right, pensemos ahorita en dos oraciones reales para ustedes, una usando may y la otra usando might. Right now, les doy tres minutos. Minute, yeah, three minutes. Let's work on that. One for May and one for Might.
All right, ready? Let's see. Um, everybody's ready now? Yes? All right, let's yes, see. Yes, yes. Very good. Um, Carlos Mauricio, ¿tiene sus oraciones listas? Ok. Uh -huh. I might don't go to work tomorrow. Oh, nice. <laughs> ok. I may count my family today. O coming. Su familia puede que llegue ahora. Así es. Ok, entonces, my family may come today. My, de cuenta, ay, ay, my family may come today. Al, al, ok. Carlos, hágame un favor, regáleme la primera que me dijo. I might don't go to ah, work tomorrow. Excelente. Ahora, lo voy a escribir acá porque eso es algo que tenemos que asegurarnos. Cuando usamos cualquier verbo modal, en este caso estamos usando may, oops, may or might, cualquiera de esos. Cuando hablamos de verbos modales, para hacerlo negativo, lo único que necesita es el not. May not. Might not. No ponemos, por ejemplo, may don't. Eso está no correcto. Ok. Para, okay, para, para cualquier, very good, para cualquier verbo modal, así sea can, could, may, might, should, no va a poner el don't. Nunca, nunca, nunca. Solo va a poner la palabra not para hacerlo negativo. ¿De acuerdo? Excellent. Very okay, nice. Teacher. Thank you. Excellent, Carlos. Very good. A ver, um, Edwin, tell me your sentences, please. Okay. Uh, okay. At the end of the year, I might buy a bicycle. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, and now uh, I might go on vacation. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Luis, what about your sentences, Luis? Okay, teacher. Uh, he may go to the doctor. Okay. Uh, it, it, it might rain tonight. Ay, no me diga eso. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> might rain tonight. Very good. Excellent, Luis. Very good. Okay, okay. excellent. Uh, Nina, uh -huh, Nina, your sentences. Okay, first one, I may buy a different pizza for dinner today. Okay. And the next, my son might buy online again for swimming glasses. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay. I, I hope so. My Michael <laughs> sentence is very good, Nina. Excellent. Xiomara, your sentences. Si Omar se le fue el sonido un ratito. Ajá. Ay, si Omar, si vos escribas en el chat, escríbalas en el chat, no hay problema, si Omar. All right, Kenya, you ready with your sentences? Yes, they, they might not bring me. Me, my person tomorrow. Okay. We, they, we, they may bring a uh, apple from the market. Okay. All right. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Caro. Uh, ah, dígame, dígame. Um, como son tres, ¿verdad? No, eran dos, pero si tiene otra, regálemela, no hay problema. Okay, I I may 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 you the second, right? Might might oh, I might but I might go out, out with my family on the weekend. Okay, all right. Yes, very good. Thank you. All right. Ahí vi que ponía también sumar en el chat. Okay, a ver si Omar revisémosla. May I talk about the topic? Super bien, very nice. Solo que en esa ya no es posibilidad, sino que es permiso, pero está bien. 
Si le quiere hacer posibilidad, tendría que ser I may talk about the topic. All right? Si lo pone como pregunta, está pidiendo como un permiso o una autorización para hablar del tema. It might... Ok, en esa semana lo vamos a arreglar así. It might rain... Ay, no me digan eso. <laughs> Too much rain tomorrow during the day. All right, it might rain tomorrow during the day. Así, Xiomara. All right, very nice, thank you. Um, Carol, ready with your sentences? Yes, teacher. Uh, number one, I may celebrate my birthday next month. Mm -hmm. And the second is my husband and I might go to the beach on vacation. Oh, very nice. All right, very good. Ivania. <laughs> very nice. Ivania, your sentences? Okay. We may get lucky. Mm, we may get lucky. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, she might go to the beach with you. Okay. Okay. Nice. Very good. And Ivaldo, your sentences. Yes, teacher. Number one, it might ra rain letter one. Number two, Gabriel meet win this game. Gabriel. Gabriel meet win taste might win taint game. Okay, all right. So he might win the game. Okay, very good. Thank you. Carla Lisa, your sentences. Okay. Sería el de May. Okay. I may order pizza. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Perdón. No, no hay problema. Y el otro es, y el otro es casi igual el de Ivania. My rain tomorrow. Yes, Solo it might pues. rain tomorrow. Very good, Carla. No se preocupe, tranquila ahí. Wilfredo, okay. very good. Next sentence. Your sentences, Wilfredo. I might rain tomorrow. Okay. I me. I'm. I might, I might uh -huh. rest and weekend. Oh, very nice, Wilfredo. Excellent. Ojalá que sí. <laughs> Maylin, very nice. Continue, please. Perdón, Maylin. <laughs> ya se iba. No, it's okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I may stand up in, in one second. Okay. And I might change to work. The next year, the next year. Okay, next year, very good, okay. Um, Ibet ya me dijo sus oraciones, Ibet. No, teacher. Okay, okay. Bye, pero este, la, mis oraciones son bien parecidas, pero eh, no sé si con ellas me puede explicar en la traducción uh -huh. la diferencia. Okay. Okay, a ver, la primera es, I may, Take a bath, a bath tomorrow. Okay. I may take my. a bath today. Okay, may and might. Okay. okay. Si usted yes. lo traduce tal cual, Ivet, lo más posible es que le queden casi que igual. Bueno, de hecho, igual. Usted puede decir, podría bañarme mañana, mm -hmm. podría bañarme hoy más noche. All right, uh -huh. I may y might. En español es como casi que, bueno, estamos usando el podría de la misma forma. Ahora, el, uh -huh. es, el may es un poco más fuerte en posibilidad. Ok. Y el might es un poquito menos que suceda algo. O que suceda que se bañe más noche porque va a ser mucho frío y está lloviendo. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you might not take a shower. All right, so es como podría in ambos, in, in both cases, Ivet. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oscar, please, your sentences. Okay, teacher. I may buy a cell phone. Okay. Um, I, I might go to the beach the Saturday. Oh, nice. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Oscar. Gabriel, ya me dijo las suyas? Solo que el micrófono, Gabriel. 
No, en ese momento se me falló el Inter, pero no sé si la voy a decir así, a ver si... Claro, sí, sí. Si acerté... Um, I may go to the toilet, pero sí como puedo ir al baño. Sí, como puedo ir al baño. Sí, así, solo, como... que, solo que ahí no está pidiendo permiso, sino que está diciendo podría ir al baño. Uh, I may go to the okay. toilet, pero está bien, está bien. Ajá. Okay. Y this quicking... I may go to the movies. I might. I might go to the okay. movies. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que voy a ponerlo aquí en el chat de Zoom. Estamos con el uh, May. Ese es May como la pronunciación May de mayo. Y esta es might. Um, uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Might. Más o menos la pronunciación might sería así. All right. May and uh -huh. might. Ok. Might. Ok. Uh, this weekend I may Good to the movies. Yes, very good, Gabriel. Yes, all right. Excellent. Okay, ahora, si ustedes pudieran poner las, las mismas oraciones que pusieron en negativa, es nada más hacer esto. I may, por decir algo, I may not work, like, creo que decía Carlos al principio. I may, uh, Carlos Eduardo me debe las suyas también, ¿verdad? I may not work tomorrow. Yes. And my family, por decir algo, my family might not come. All right. Entonces, la negación o la forma negativa is only adding not. Okay. You need to remember that. Very good. Y la posibilidad de may is higher than might. Yes, Caro. Teacher, solo una preguntita. Yeah. Dijo que para todos los verbos modales, el negativo solo se adiciona el not. Sí. ¿Verdad? Eso aplica sí. para el may, my, can, could, will and did. Will and did. Lo que pasa es que will y el did son auxiliares, no son verbos modales. Ah, ok. Entonces no. Uh -huh. No. Solo esos cuatro serían todos. No son un montón más, caro. <risa> ah, ok. El, el should, el ought. Okay. All right, hay varios otros verbos modales. Ok. All right, pero en este caso, esos son, como digamos, los más usados. All right. Perfect, perfect yeah. teacher. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent, thank you. Okay, Carlos Eduardo, tell me your sentences, please. Okay, my mom may be at home. Ah, okay. Uh, they might buy pizza with your digi digital wallet. Oh, okay. All right, very nice. I like that. Give okay. me one second, guys. Wait, guys, please. Okay, sorry. All right, now let's go back then with your book here. Create sentences, exercise five. Create sentences using the words provided and may or might. Write a compliment when needed. All right, la idea es hacer las oraciones más largas. De hecho, sí me gustaría que le pusieran un predicado, un complemento a su oración. All right, so he not be satisfied. Podemos usar may or might como ustedes quieran, porque eh, dependiendo, como no hay un contexto previo, we can use may or might, depende de la posibilidad que usted le quiera agregar. All right, entonces aquí hay seis. You need to use may or might and please add a compliment. Y me hace cuatro más. Que no están acá, ustedes la van a hacer en los grupos, ok, so four more, en total vamos a tener diez, las últimas cuatro son diferentes, because everybody is going to think about their own sentences, y traten las suyas de hacerlas negativas, tal vez no todas, pero algunas hay negativas, de acuerdo, ya, yeah, porque, bueno, sí, van a usar, quiero ver, un, en la uno, en la tres y en la seis, usan negativa, ok, en las otras cuatro, bien, le puede poner una o dos negativas más. All right. Escriban cuatro más aparte de las que ya están ahí. Ok. Let's go, guys, to the groups. Nina, la voy a agregar a un grupo, Nina. Ok, teacher. 
Excellent. Solo déjeme ver con quién la mando. <risa> Yo, teacher, porque también acabo de entrar. Sí, Carlos, sí, tiene razón. Ya lo voy a habilitar ahí. Carlos. Nina, Nina, Nina. Gabriel, ¿en qué sala estaba? Gabriel. En cuatro creo que estábamos con... En cuatro creo. Con Ivette. Sí, sí. Ah, vaya, ahorita.
All right, guys, let's check this exercise, please. Number five, one, he not be satisfied. ¿Cómo nos quedó ese? A ver, Maylin, ¿cómo tiene number one? Um, he may change the product because he's not be satisfied. Ah, oh, okay. So he may change the product because he may not be satisfied. Acuérdense ahí, Maylin, que tratamos de usar el may or might. Okay, he may not be or he might not be satisfied. Okay? He might. Okay. All right, very good. Let's see. What about number two? Who has number two? The warranty be longer. Anybody with the number two? Okay, I am going to say uh, the warranty of an iPhone might be longer than uh, the Samsung. Oh, maybe longer than Samsung's. Okay, very it's good. Okay, right. okay. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. All right, Elibaldo, number three. Teacher, teacher, oh, okay. I have a question. Yes. Eh, en esa, en la segunda, eh, este, yo consideraba que era life is be longer, pero entonces se sustituye el be, solo life is longer, longer. The warranty may be longer or might be longer. El be lo deja. Ah, okay. Sí, okay. parece que cuando usamos los verbos, en este caso los verbos modales, El siguiente verbo queda en su forma base, sin conjugación. Entonces, be, por eso queda así. The warranty may be longer or might be longer or may not be longer, como sea, pero es may be or might be. Okay, okay. Excellent, thank you. All right, number three, aquí le había dicho, Rivaldo. Okay, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. The therapy might not excellent because the employee is new. Oh, I like that one. Very nice. Okay, thank you. Number four. Who wants to uh, who wants to do number four? A ver, de los que no han participado mucho. I need people to participate. Come on, Oscar. A ver, Oscar. Y después va Luis. Ya ya había ahí la intención de Luis. <laughs> oh, okay, teacher. Number four, va. Yes, please. Uh, you might recommend I uh, recommend my a uh, restaurant. You may recommend. Okay. Okay. I like that one. Very good. And, okay. Nice. Number five, Luis. Uh, number five. The the waiter might not be in a hurry. Might not be in a hurry. Very good. Hurry. Very nice. Thank you. Number six. Amanda not use. Volunteers. <laughs> Volunteers. Yes, Katie. Which one, teacher? Uh, Sorry. Amanda may not spend. No Amanda? use pen. Amanda what? may not? Use pen. pen. Ah, use Amanda pen. may not use paint. Okay, very good. Yes. Very nice. Okay. A ver. Um, Kenya, creo que se quedó eh, allí, ¿verdad, Kenya? Kenia, Kenia. Sí, 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 pero ya, ya, la, ya en las otras estrellas no pudimos lograr la hacer. ¿Y, ¿Pero tiene alguna de las que usted hizo, Kenia? Sí, eh, cualquiera puede decir. ¿Ah? Tell me one, Kenia. He might not be satisfied with the of the shoes. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay, very nice. Thank you, guys. Give me a second here. All right, I'm going to take attendance. Las demás que nos toca, uh, nos tocó ahora hacer, creo que les pedí cuatro, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Con yes, eso entramos yes. mañana. All right, para revisar y hacer el repaso correspondiente del May and Might y otro ejercicio por ahí que tengo eh, todavía guardadito. Alright, <laughs> so let's just take the last attendance para que se puedan ir a descansar. Oh, yeah. One second, I know it's late. <laughs> I know. Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 
All right, Carlos Eduardo Artiga Berrios. Present. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Mármol. Present, teacher. Very nice. Carlos Mauricio Gamero Aguilar. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Carolina Zúñiga Suárez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Present, teacher. Good night. And good night to you too. Stephanie Lizette Molina Rodriguez. Stephanie Michelle Zúñiga Hueso. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ivania Yamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Ivette Luis Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Paren Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Kenia Claribel Peñate Rivas. Present teacher. Good night. Good night to you too. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Good night. Good night. Sí, Wilfredo, ¿por qué? Ah, sí, no. Permítame, Wilfredo. Yeah. Mardoqueo Ramírez Pérez, Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya, Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Excellent, very nice. I have Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Great, thank you. All right, Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Bueno, estuvo Verito, right? William Ernesto Tobar Chacón. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Evelyn Beatriz Ventura Paredes. Carlos Josué Chávez. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present. And Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present. Great, guys. Very good. All right. So I'm going to let you rest. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining class. Please, please, please work on your homework. Okay. In la plataforma. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Yes. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank okay. you so much. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night, Good night people. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. What's your name? Caro's daughter. <laughs> uh, my name is Isis or Sofia. Oh, oh, very nice. Oh. That's a very, very nice English, Carito. <laughs> <laughs> Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Easy. <laughs>